two, three, wrap. Come on, everybody don't need this crap. Hey everybody, I'm back in the car, back on a dash. What do you think of my shirt? This is my celebration of fall shirt. However, when looking at myself in the mirror, I'm not sure if that's what's coming across or if it's just big pumpkin. $3.66, 4.3 miles for Wendy's, no. So I have the oobs and DoorDash on. Oh, by the way, it's October 8th, it's Sunday. It's about 2.45 p.m. right now, I'm just coming out. I was planning on coming out like before noon, but then realized I hadn't charged my GoPro batteries. Yep. So I didn't come out here before noon. I came out here now when my batteries are charged up. Ain't that some shit? Anyways, so I just stayed home and I did some editing. I did not finish editing what I was editing, but I got a lot done, which is good. And now I'm out here with you fine folks. So I am wearing this orange shirt because today is the first day where the temperatures have dropped. It is right now 76 degrees, 76 degrees, and it's gonna get into the 60s tonight, which I am so happy about. I'm Tyson. And I probably said this before in a prior video, but I'm gonna say it again. You know, people have seasonal disorder when winter comes, you know, they get depressed. I have the exact opposite. I hate summer. I absolutely hate it. I look forward to fall and winter all year. All year. That's what I want here. Fall and winter. So this is my celebration of fall shirt today. $18. 10 point. Don't, don't start that. 10.5 miles. Oh my god, 10.5 miles. It's one customer drop off. It's Dash Mart, a, re a retail pickup from Dash Mart, of course. And then ABC Fine Wine and Spirits shop for one item. I'll take that. I mean, it is $18. It's 10.5 miles, though. Now I've got to go back the way I came from. So this one is six dollars and nineteen cents, three miles for little Caesars. I guess so. Thank you. Complete. And at six nineteen, the tip is three dollars and sixty nine cents. And my dash is over because it only let me dash until three thirty, and it's three thirty seven. Um, I'm over here. I'm gonna dash now again. Oh, now it gives me all the times. Okay, I'm gonna put till seven. And we are dashing. Let me turn the oops back on. What? $3.67, 3.5 miles for Burger King. And now they're sending me a reminder that the order contains alcohol. Like that was like two orders ago. A little late guys, a little late. All right, let me turn the oops back on. There's some Ibis. It's like it wants to cross the street, but it doesn't know what I'm doing. $3.25, 2.9 miles for McDonald's. I am not taking that. Look at this fucking shit. Are you kidding me? $5.50 for 12.9 miles for two customer drop-offs. Two for $5.50. You have got to be kidding me. They should not even send us this crap. What is this crap? One, two, three, wrap. Come on, everybody don't need this crap. $4.90. 5.4 miles for McDonald's, not taking it. $6 for 8.3 miles for OEC Japanese sushi, blah, blah, not taking it. $6.50, 2.8 miles for Subway, I will accept it.
Leave at my door. Well, if I could find your door, I will leave it there. So, it's the, it's got an apartment number, but I'm over here by houses, and I think I missed the turn. Like it's supposed to be down this alley or something over here. Oh, maybe there's a big building down there. Let's go find out, kids. I hate this these these addresses that are like in alleyways where there's like or there's like houses that are like it's more than one thing well these look like apartments but why would it bring me to the back of them that's some dumb crap one two three wrap come on everybody don't need this crap $15.75 for point or 14.5 miles for Party City. I didn't, I didn't, I can't, no. 14 and a half miles. No. $5.25, 6.3 miles. It's two pickups for one customer. These people. I just accidentally accepted a Starbucks order on Uber Eats. Because I was switching, like, I was on the screen for DoorDash, and then the Uber Eats order came, and I went to, like, switch over the thing, but I don't know, I must have, like, tapped it twice or something. Now I gotta unassign it, because it's only, like, $5, and I have no idea what the miles are. I don't want it. Cancel. $6, 2.5 miles for Wawa, but it's an alcohol order. An alcohol order. No. Listen, if you want to imbibe on the alcohol, you'll need to pay us more to bring it to you. I'm not feeling it today. You understand what I'm saying? Four dollars and fifty cents, two point four miles to shop at Big Lots for one item. No. And that pops up before I can decline. $7.31, 4.9 miles from Chipotle, but it's taking me to Gulfport. No thanks. And let me decline this one. I'm not feeling it right now. I'm not feeling it. Like, it's 4.16, so I've been out here, what is that, like an hour and a half? And I'm already over it. I'm already over it. Like, the majority of the orders are just bad, you know? I honestly don't know how anyone, like, can do this full-time. And I know there's people that do. But, I mean, you must have to spend so many hours out here to make enough money to survive. You understand what I'm saying? Because this is insane. And it kind of, I kind of feel like I'm just wasting my time, you know, especially because like I have so many things to do at home, you know? So whenever I'm out here and I'm getting like crappy orders and I'm just like basically driving around declining orders, I just feel like I'm wasting my time. $19.60, four miles for Dickie's barbecue. I am accepting that one.
$10.04, 3.3 miles for Papa John's. I will accept it. Hey man, look at that, their car matches my shirt. I just accepted a $7.43, 4.3 mile uh, order on the oops that they sent me because I'm almost to my drop off. It's for some place called Kelly's something. Kelly's roast beef. Head to your pickup at Kelly's Roast Beef, Pasadena Avenue. Twelve dollars and thirty-four cents. Fifteen miles. No, thank you. This place. Leave that door. House is pink and white on the corner. Bottom floor. We have a $6.50, 4.2 mile Giuseppe's Pizzeria. I will accept it. Let me just grab my phone off there. Yeah, have a great night. Thank you, have a good one. You too. <sighs> when I got to the pizza place, the order wasn't ready. And when I asked for it, they kind of like were like looking around trying to figure out like what order is that? So I had to wait because I'm pretty sure that they didn't start it until I arrived. But it was a $6.50 order, you know? So I was like, well, and yesterday I unassigned two orders. So I'm like, you know, I don't want to unassign another order. I just assigned, unassigned two, and this is $6.50. It could go up. It didn't go up. $3.50, 5.8 miles for ATL Deli. They must be insane. And there's like somebody riding my ass right now. $6.50 again, a 4.6 miles for Wawa. That's just a 505. I'm gonna take the Wawa. Sit over here for a minute, my friends. I'm gonna, oh my God, GoPro. So, let's just break it down, everybody. Let's just break it down. These people live in Treasure Island in a very nice area. And, um, six twenty-five, 4.8 miles for just Epi's Pizza Real. Uh, All these little six dollar orders are getting on my nerves now fine i'll take it um they live now you're going to talk on yacht club drive toward paradise boulevard then sharp left onto paradise boulevard so 
as you could hear. Sharp left onto Paradise Boulevard. These people live in a nice house on Yacht Club Boulevard, okay? In Treasure Island, Treasure Island, Florida. Continue on Paradise Boulevard for half a mile. If you aren't familiar, is a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous place. And they just leave a little tip. You know what I'm saying? Is it a bad order? No. But why wouldn't they tip better? You know what I'm saying? You know? I'm just asking. Hi. Uh, Jonah S. This drop off is literally one minute away from the restaurant. It's to a resort because it says to hand it to them at the front desk. So I guess I won't be recording that. Hand it to me, hand it to me. I work at the front desk. There does not appear to be anyone in there. the ways. I usually park back there, but it's not busy right now. Nobody's out here. Nobody is out here. Hey, everybody. It's time for the outro. Isn't it exciting? So let's start with the oobs, shall we? The oobs did not disappoint today. We have four trips that earned $60 and 57 cents. So if we're looking, let's take a look see look see. You remember that Dickies that had the two orders on there? Um, so those two, the tip came to $39.78 for those two orders, and that made it $43.38 for that one, which is amazing. Big thanks to those people. And let's take a look at the DoorDash, which is not as amazing. Excuse the noises, my stuff. <laughs> my stomach is making. So on DoorDash, we have $25.75. Let me add these up, my friends. That comes to $81.50. And I was out from $2.45 to $6.45, which is four hours. That brings it to $20.37. So even with that amazing double order with huge tips, like, it's still kind of just like, average normal you know what I mean because like the rest of the orders were like blah blah but I'm not gonna complain it's fine let's look at the ratings on DoorDash 32% acceptance rate and let's look at the oobs Twenty two percent acceptance rate. And then of course my cancellation rate is one percent because I accidentally clicked on that stupid five dollar order earlier today. That's all I have, you know. I appreciate you being here. And I have noticed uh, when I'm editing that my intros and my outros have really been too long. <laughs> They've really been too long lately. And I apologize. I've just been complaining a lot. But things are getting better at work. We're getting new people. It's all good. It's all going to work out. And life is wonderful. So thank you for watching. There's people coming now. They're going to be looking at me. Don't look at me. Don't do it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please like. 
and please share and please have a wonderful day or wonderful night or whatever you're doing. One, two, three, wrap, come on, everybody don't need this crap. <laughs>